Let me start with Matters Soccer, where the national women's football team, and this is the Harambe Starlets, are targeting to make it to this year's African Women's Championships in Cameroon for the first time ever. The Starlets are scheduled to play of uh, Democratic Republic of Congo in their qualifiers over the weekend. And the side is optimistic that this time round, they're going to use last year's disappointment as their motivation factor. Robinson of Kenya filed this report. 2015 saw Kenya women's football team take part in a number of international matches and in doing so upsetting some of the experienced sides in the region. The opportunity is opening up for Starlets. First up in 2016 is the first round of the qualification to the Africa Women's Championships where they are scheduled to play DR Congo in Nairobi on the 5th of March. Really motivated. I don't doubt, I doubt their technical uh, skills and qualities. The only thing I have to uh, organize uh, properly uh, their understanding the tactical ability of the team. Na wana tutame kwa sababu kulinga na team pali tulikuwa last year. Ile round tulifike ilikuwa poa na team iko compact sai. Starlets are hoping to use last year's failure to qualify for the Olympics after being knocked out by South Africa's motivation as they take part in Africa Women's Championship qualifiers for the first time. We lose marginally because these teams have been there for a, quite a long time. So at the, at, the, at the difficult moments in the game, they always get the results. For us, we have to struggle and then we get it. Tunanza meche to home, uh, that is a win, definitely, because I believe in the team. And uh, throughout the matches that we got kiches, I make a poor. Head coach David Ouma will be looking to use the experience of players who play their trade outside the country as a vantage point for Starlets. One thing I want to congratulate all the girls that have always been playing the game, because over the years it has been difficult for them. With reports indicating that DR Congo had pulled out of the qualifiers, Starlets are waiting for official communication from CAF concerning the matter. 2015 was arguably a breakthrough year for the Kenya national women's football team. But with more matches lined up in 2016, it remains to be seen whether the promise and talent that this team has will come to realization. Robinson Okenye, KTN Sports.